Thank you, Steve. You know, Lynn is right. I have become a bit obsessed with eBay. It is amazing what you can buy without leaving the comfort of your own home. Over the years, items have included a woolly mammoth skeleton, Britney Spears' used chewing gum, Princess Beatrice's giant pretzel hat, a paper cup once used by Jeremy Corbyn, a bag of air from a Kanye West concert, and even an annoying but apparently cuddly grandmother. If anyone is looking for a nice sleeping hat, let me know after the service and I will put in a bulk order. Well, I was idly browsing a few weeks ago and I came across this advert. Genuine ancient fragments of scrolls from the Holy Land. Six for 240 US dollars. The photographs looked amazing and I was intrigued. So I went ahead and bought them. They arrived by post a week later and when I opened the envelope, they seemed too good to be true. Here's an example. The problem was that they were written in ancient Greek, so I had no idea what was said in them, let alone their provenance. Fortunately, there is a faculty of classics at Cambridge University and they were only too happy to help. So this week I received translations of the fragments and estimates of their dates and origins. Here are some examples, most of which seem to come from a lost gospel written towards the end of the first century. Jesus was teaching a group of people who were seated at his feet. Suddenly one of the disciples appeared and called out to Jesus, hurry up, we have a meeting of the board of disciples scheduled for 8 p.m. and we have a full agenda. This didn't really sound like the Jesus I know, but I was intrigued and read the next one. Jesus was talking with a poor widow whose only son was in bad health. She was hoping Jesus would heal her son. Jesus looked at his watch and said, sorry, I have an important appointment with the Sanhedrin. Come and find me next Tuesday at 11.15 and I will see what I can do. I was starting to get suspicious, but I read on. The disciples settled down with Jesus for supper. After they had eaten, Jesus usually spent some time teaching them about the kingdom of heaven. On this occasion, they asked him to keep it short because there was a show on in town that evening that they did not want to miss. I then realized these fragments were fake and that I had wasted my money. They did, though, get me thinking about our mission statement at Combatant Baptist Church. Seeking to be an authentic community of disciples, becoming more like Jesus, walking in step with God, alongside each other and seeing lives transformed. And in particular, becoming more like Jesus in the modern world. Jesus didn't carry a watch, didn't live his life to a tight schedule, didn't cut people off because he had more important things to do, didn't fill in a timesheet, wasn't driven by efficiency, and wasn't concerned with personal ambition and achievement. He was not in awe of and did not defer to powerful leaders. He didn't go to committee meetings and didn't work 24-7, but he regularly took time out to spend time with his father. Yet, in his three years of ministry, he was the most effective human being the world has ever known. Even though he was and is the Son of God, Jesus had time for ordinary people and was concerned for all aspects of their lives. More than that, he sought out the widowed, dispossessed, sick, social outcasts and even criminals to share the love of God. He treated ordinary people as if they were just as important as leaders and gave them freely of his time. This is so alien to the way modern society expects us to lead our lives and it is so easy to slot into today's expected ways of living with our faith as an adjunct 
rather than transforming our lives from top to bottom to be more like Jesus. For me, making more time for people, listening more and not being so impatient is probably a good place to start. But this is only a beginning in trying to become more like Jesus. Incidentally, I should say I'm not really obsessed with eBay and didn't really purchase the fake scrolls. So let us spend some time in prayer. I will introduce each area of focus and then there will be time for us each to pr pray privately. We will then end this time by saying the Lord's Prayer together.